Hello again and welcome to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bull. We are taping here in the beautiful Marion H. Rochelle Gateway Center. We have highlights to take a look at, all kinds of stuff from Saturday's action, the Cowboys against Eastern Michigan. I know the score didn't turn out the way you wanted, Coach, but gosh darn it, I saw some improvements in that game. Well, I think it's important that we do that, uh, you know, have improvements. What we got to recognize is, uh, and I do as a head football coach, we've got a young football team and, and to pick out some bright spots is really important. However, it's not, uh, we're not going to uh, just glaze over some of the deficiencies we had, but I really thought we came out and ran the football. Uh, credit the offensive line, uh, Brian and Sean uh, did a great job. I had some adversity, you know, we, uh, we were not playing Cam and uh, Josh Allen started out uh, the game and, and really looked great. And then he went down uh, with a shoulder injury and then Nick came in. And so uh, some positive things, but a lot of work to do ahead. Yeah, you bet. Let's go to War Memorial Stadium Saturday afternoon. What a glorious day for college football. My goodness, temperatures in the 70s and here come the Cowboys. Go. Well, you know what, we come out and we felt like it was important to start fast. And uh, we certainly did here, you know, coming in to, to the game, uh, we wanted to establish the run, but there's some play action off of this. This is Josh rolling out on the naked uh, bootleg and really a nice throw and, and uh, we picked up a first down here. And here you can see uh, this is a good running play, uh, a counter action, Brian gets in the secondary, you can see his speed. Great job by the offensive line and now we're deep, deep in uh, Eastern Michigan's territory. Here's a jet sweep. Uh, this is Justice Murphy, a true freshman from uh, the, the uh, Portland area, and uh, did a nice job. Boom, we're up 7 0. Really a, a different start than what we had in the first game, and so we're pleased with this. A nice job of blocking, and he goes in uh, pretty much untouched. So we're up 7 0. Now <clears throat> Eastern comes down, and uh, this is a, a Wildcat formation here, missed tackled, and throughout the afternoon, uh, way too many missed tackles, and, and we're going to continue to address that in practice. So, uh, and then uh, nice job here by Carl Granderson. He's another true freshman from uh, Sacramento. He plays extremely hard, plays defensive end, does a nice job on their jet sweep defending it. Uh, they come out, and uh, quarterback here does a nice job. We get some good pressure. He drops the ball off underneath. This guy's a good player, but once again, you can see three missed tackles, and uh, those are things that uh, we've got to get corrected. So we're down 21-0. Uh, I think it's uh, we come back here and we do a nice job on an outside running play. Good job of blocking by our offensive line here. Brian lowers his shoulder and picks up a nice gain on the ground. Once again, we're coming with some uh, fly motion and counteraction. This is Sean Wick, and great job of cut blocking. He moves the chains, and we're deep in uh, Mich Eastern Michigan's territory here. So uh, down 21 to seven, um, and uh, we came out, uh, we missed a field goal there. Eastern came back, and uh, good job of, of them blocking right here. And Just not enough speed for us in the second, or we've got to address that and get more guys on the field who have Good speed, way too many long, uh, way too many long runs. And uh, here, Eastern Michigan is is back there in uh, deep in our territory, and they come across and do a nice job of a counter scheme and uh, a touchdown. We're down by quite a few points here, but it's going to be important for us uh, to come back and not have a, a negative attitude. Don't don't give up, and uh, our guys are playing really hard right now. Uh, you know, it's important for us to come up and put some more points on the board. This is right before half, and this was really an excellent drive. And what I mentioned to our team at halftime, we, we came up with a score here. Eastern Michigan was on their heels. We came out in the second half with another score. So we scored uh, twice in uh, less than two minutes. And uh, here's a power play and a touchdown. I believe that's uh, Sean Wick coming across the goal line and gives us 14 points at halftime. Well, a lot of ground to make up here, Coach, but the Cowboys uh, did score right at the end of the first half. You can see the numbers here, big numbers for uh, really both teams in that first half. But the Cowboys did score, and you get the ball back first when you come out for the second half. Too. Well, that was going to be important for us. We talked that we were going to possess the ball. If we could come out and get a score on the board, it was going to be a, a lot closer game than, than what a lot of people had thought, and uh, we were able to do that. And so uh, um, we've got to build on that. 
So it seems like it takes a little while to get adjusted to a different quarterback. And I thought Nick Smith came in and did just really the best he could, and the Cowboys adapted to him, I thought. Well, you know what? Anytime you're down to your third string quarterback, that guy doesn't get a lot of repetitions in practice. However, he got more repetitions this week. And, you know, Nick did a nice job managing our offense and moving down the field. Yeah, you bet. Well, first half, there you see the score, 38-14. Cowboys down, a lot of making up to do in the second half. Come back and we'll take a look at those second half highlights here on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. We're back after this. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Welcome back to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. Well, the Cowboys were down at halftime on a beautiful day in War Memorial Stadium. There's some coming back to do, Coach, and, and uh, you do get the ball first. And I'll be darned, the Cowboys did come back. You know, we talked to our team at halftime that what we needed to do was put one step ahead of uh, the other and play better and play as hard as we could. And at the end of the game, we'd turn around and look at the scoreboard. Uh, you know, the margin for victory, uh, we were going to need to get some points on the board and come up with a couple stops. Uh, we did part of that, uh, but uh, the attitude and the execution was much better in the second half. Let's go back to beautiful War Memorial Stadium for the second half. A little over 19,000 for the game on a beautiful day. Here we go, Coach. Well, here we are in the second half, and uh, we're deep in our territory, 25-yard line. But once again, good job of blocking, and nice uh, job. That's on first and 10, and we started to pick up not only small chunks in the running game, but big chunks in the running game. And here's a, uh, another counter play, and Brian breaks into the secondary. You can see what kind of speed he has and what kind of movement. Uh, this is an excellent run. He uses a little uh, stop and go movement. It's a long, long touchdown. And boy, at this time now, that puts us up uh, with 21 points. And the complexion of the game changes. And uh, it's going to be important we come up with a stop. Unfortunately, here uh, we've got good pressure on the quarterback. He meanders around. We lose coverage as, uh, as that quarterback uh, scrambles. Uh, several missed tackles, which is disappointing. Uh, and that one was, a, I'd have to say, a dart to the heart. It didn't put us uh, down and out, but we, uh, we needed to, to keep on coming back. However, our defense did respond with a, you know, a couple good series here. We forced them to punt. You can see our guys uh, playing with better technique, better pad level, more gang tackling. And these are uh, uh, things that we need to build on. Here's a good pressure. Uh, quarterback got nervous, threw the ball away, and uh, <clears throat> flipped the field over right here. And that was, a, that was a good stop by our defense. Our offense back on the field again. Uh, nice job of blocking up front and an excellent job of, of running by Brian. You can see gets many yards after contact. And he's a big, strong back that's very elusive. And, uh, and Sean's doing a nice job here. Here you can see uh, uh, Nick Smith. This is a quarterback keeper around the left side and good job of blocking up front. I believe that was on a fourth down call and uh, deep, deep in the Eastern Michigan uh, territory here. So uh, we got the ball on the 19 yard line. Um, an outside running play, good job of blocking. Uh, Brian reads those blocks very well. Uh, struggles and gets a, about a 13 yard gain. And uh, once again, a very similar play the other way, and Brian walks into the end zone unscathed, uh, moving the ball on the ground, and uh, we need to build on that, Dave. Yeah. And so now, uh, as we come back, uh, you can see Brian jogging off here. Now our defense is out on the field. Uh, once again, this is a, a jet sweep, and this is some of the times to come to. Here's Andrew Winger, a true freshman player from the Denver area. He was a Gatorade Player of the Year. Uh, in Colorado, and he's an aggressive guy, uh, goes low, gets into the guy's legs, and uh, Andrew's going to be playing an awful lot of football. This was his first start, and we thought he played extremely well. We'll build with guys like that. Here you can see uh, Nick coming around on the quarterback keeper again. Great job of blocking up front. Nick is a big, strong guy. He's about 6'5", uh, 230 pounds, and does a nice job moving the ball on the ground here. Um, we're uh, you know, coming back, uh, this is an outside run. Brian does a great job uh, finding his way, shrugs the guy off, uh, is down to the 14-yard uh, line. But here's our final stats. Uh, 
The thing that's encouraging, 462 yards uh, total offense by us, discouraging 506, but the rushing yardage is going to be something we'll build on, David. Absolutely. Most rushing yards for a Cowboy football team in 27 years, Coach, goes back to 1988. That's something you wanted to get better. Boy, it certainly well, wasn't. Well, for us to be successful here, that's getting rebranded, and that takes some time. We will build on that, and we've got – uh, an awful lot of black, bright spots uh, coming back in that area. Absolutely. Well, stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. We're back with more right after this timeout. Well, the Cowboys rolled up 430 yards rushing the most that they have run for in a game since 1988. It was Brian Hill and Sean Wick did most of the damage. Let's sit down and visit with those two outstanding Cowboy running backs. He'll turn, give it to Wick. He's got the first down and he's got four. Look at him go. Touchdown, Cowboys. Smith turns, gives it to Hill. He's to midfield. Hill to the 40. He's to the 30. Hill to the 20. He's to the 10. He is in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Yeah, basically, I just run the ball. It's all attitude. Uh, just comes all natural. Basically, I mean, it's just how you react to uh, certain situations. It's basically everything you think of when you say the word football. I mean, you get the ball and you're trying to run away from defenders and try to break tackles and all that. I mean, it's basically all the fun you think football is. I look at it like I'm in a very fortunate position uh, to have two guys who are, uh, are coachable, who have a, a competitive edge to them, who work hard, uh, you know, and, and then are talented. And you, you get you get a couple of young men like that. It's a it's a, it's a very it's very much a joy to coach, and uh, I love being around the guys. Uh, you know, they're they're each other's biggest supporter, and uh, you know, for me as a coach, that's that's good because it prevents any uh, any potential egos I have to deal with, uh, uh, any any other side issues. These two young men are, are, are great young men that uh, that love football and love this university, so it's uh, they're a joy to be around. Um, you know, our relationship is good. Um, he's been one of my friends since I got here. I met him on my official. He wasn't my host, but we were kind of close on the official too. So, and he was Nico's host on his official visit. So the more time I spent with Nico, you know, Sean was there too early on. So it was, it's pretty cool. I was just really laid back, you know. Uh, you know, it's all business. Uh, off the field, one of the friends. On the field, we're just you know, competing. If you break one, you know, uh, just call me in, you know, and I'll get you to keep this drive going. I mean, we're all about uh, helping out the offense, and uh, you know, stats are just put to the side. They give it to Wick, trying to sweep the left side. He's to the five, cuts up, and he's in. Touchdown, Cowboys! They'll give it to Hill. He's to the five. He's in. Touchdown, Cowboys! Uh, I'll be 100% honest. We really do go with a hot hand, and uh, you know we win the game. We rotate by series, and once a guy gets a couple plays in the series, we'll throw the other guy in to spell him uh, on their series. And you know, as we get into the second half, uh, late third quarter, we'll make that you know kind of determination that okay, who we're going to roll with, and uh, the other guy will spell him. And you know, that's what Coach Vegan's offense has been about for for years. And uh, you know, we're doing it now. We're going to continue to do so. I mean, it, as a running back, if you, you're feeling hot, I mean, you want the uh, you're gonna want the ball, and you, you're gonna want the the, the team to ride you. And uh, basically, I'll, I'll just do anything I can to just to help the team win. You know, there's been times, there's been times in the past, uh, primarily probably a little bit last season, where I felt like uh, maybe Sean was a little bit ahead in protections. Uh, you know, especially when he and DJ were playing, and then. Uh, as uh, Brian got into the fold, he, he had to take control and, and, and really grow in the protection perspective. And, uh, you know, this season, I, I don't. Uh, I really believe, and our staff believes, that we can uh, put those guys in any situation. Uh, we trust them both in any situation, whether it's third downs or it's uh, fourth and one. Uh, and, we, and the other team knows we're going to run the football. So it's a luxury to have two young men that are as, as talented as they are uh, in the backfield. Oh yeah, um, just watching Sean on film and his pass protection in practice and the games, 
is just really good. You know, he shoots his hands well. He stays low. He never lunges or puts his head down, which is really important when you're pass blocking. And I still put my head down sometimes when I go up to make a block and pass protection. So it's definitely a lot of things to learn from Sean's game and pass protection. I uh, just help him uh, put himself in better situations and uh, how to uh, take care of his body. You know, uh, as a running back, you're going to take a lot of beatings and you got to learn how to uh, avoid shots and, uh, you know, uh, create those shots to make them less, uh, I'd say, effective and, uh, you know, just to keep maintain your body and, you know, stay in the game. Well, the Cowboys went from rushing for 41 yards in their first game against North Dakota. Then last time out, last Saturday, Wyoming would run for 430 yards. Brian Hill had a big day, one of the best singular days in Cowboy history, uh, running for all those yards. But you said you wanted to see some improvement in that running game. My goodness, Coach, that's a big improvement. That's a big improvement. And uh, to be effective, we usually need two bangers. And we've got two guys that uh, really complement one another. The future really looks bright, uh, and Sean's moving up that rushing list. And of course, Brian's had a couple 200-yard days, and and also along with that, you got to have great offensive linemen. Those guys will give them all the credit in the world. Yeah, it seems that like that offensive front is coming along, and they know, coach, that they don't have to hold them off too long or make too big a hole because those two guys can really get to there. Well, the two things feed off one another, yeah. and a running back's got to have great offensive line play, and then those offensive linemen. I really need to have somebody that can make a couple guys miss, and that's what we have right now. Well, Sean Wick and Brian Hill have been outstanding since they have stepped on the campus here at the University of Wyoming, that's for sure. We're back with more on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl right after this timeout. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Cowboys are off to Washington State to take on the Cougars this Saturday evening. The Cowboys have a Washingtonian on their staff, Pete Caligas, the defensive line coach. Let's get to know a little bit more about Washington State from Coach Caligas. They're going to throw the ball. When you look at the Third and one and two cut up when there's two runs in there and the rest are, are dropped back and, and you know they're they're looking for the shots and you know the one thing that you, you do see that I saw from last year is they were improved up front a lot. Um, their guards are really good. Uh, they got really good feet. Um, pass protection also. Uh, the tackles do a good job of setting back and and setting that edge and setting the width of the pocket and the guards and centers do an unbelievable job of, of keeping the depth. You know, I think what the Cowboys got to do, the Cowboys got to take care of themselves. Each person has to do their job and know exactly where they're supposed to be and execute it. And that's the only thing, they can, that's the only thing we can worry about. We can't worry about what Washington State plans to do. We've got to execute our game plan and uh, get that done here in the next three days and be sure that our guys know exactly what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. You know, that's what everyone says, young players, how they're coming along. You know, I think um, some of them need just to learn how to get out of the hole that they need to go now. You know, you gotta, you got to dig your way out now. Uh, this is where we're at. And now you really start to see the tenacity of some young men and uh, who are they as competitors and, and what are they made of. And uh, that's going to be the fun part about when we get out there today, to see what some of these men are made of and because uh, they have to get out of it now. Well, the Cowboys traveled to Pac-12 country. They're going to go to Pullman, Washington, 6.30 kickoff this Saturday night against the Washington State Cougars. Boy, this is a team we know loves to throw the heck out of it, Coach. But what are some of the keys, you think, for the Cowboys going there and getting a win? Well, the things we need to uh, control, we need to control. First of all, I think to be able to run the football is going to be critical, but also be able to uh, improve our passing percentages. Uh, defensively, we're going to need to minimize their big plays. We recognize coming in, they've got a prolific offense, an outstanding quarterback, and a great group of receivers. There'll be some uh, plays that happen. We just got to minimize the number of those big plays. Uh, it'd be the first time we're on the road, and so when you have a young football team, make sure our guys get acclimated that, okay, the field's still the same size, it's just in a different setting. 
What a great opportunity for us. Uh, Washington State had a big win this last weekend against Rutgers. They came back late in the game, a, a, a Big Ten opponent. And so uh, a lot to play for. Also, uh, uh, Coach Leach is a, a native of Wyoming, he grew up in Cody. And so uh, I'll have a fun time chatting with him before the game. And I, I, I remember Coach Leach when he was at Texas Tech. Yeah. Yeah. We're just a few days away from kickoff and mm -hmm. Pullman coach, but uh, what does the injury situation look like? Will the Cowboys have Cam Coffin back? Yeah, we'll have Cam. He's going to be back full speed. Josh is going to be gone uh, probably for the whole year. We'll just uh, see on that. Uh, uh, Taylor Nestis is uh, somewhat questionable, too. Outside of that, I think we're uh, back to full strength. You bet. 6.30 p.m. Saturday evening, the Cowboys against Washington State up in Pullman. Come back next time around. We'll take a look at the highlights right here on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. For the coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody. Give it on the pop out and running around and in. Touchdown, Justice Murphy. They'll give it to him. Wick dives in. Touchdown, Cowboys. To the 40. He's to midfield, Hill to the 40, he's to the 30, Hill to the 20, he's to the 10, he is in! Touchdown, Cowboys! He'll give it to Hill, Hill's got a hole and he's in! Touchdown, Cowboys!